All right, so what we have here is a quick start guide and I love this format because I can just leave this on my desk. In the front here, it shows you what the buttons do and in the back, it shows you what each connection in the back is used for. All right, so you have a smaller box within the bigger box here. We're gonna go ahead and open that up for you. And what's in here is gonna be the cables that you use for your Zendak. So what we have here is a 3.5 millimeter to 6.3 millimeter adapter that you can use to convert your headphones from 3.5 to 6.3. Next, we have the USB cable. It's gonna be used to both power the iFi Zendak version two, as well as to transfer the data for the audio. Finally, we have the RCA cable for outputting from the back of the unit onto an external amp, for example, or to external speakers. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna unbox the iFi Zendak version two for you, and here it is. Here is the iFi Zendak V2, and you see on top it just says iFi, and in the bottom we have these four little rubber feet that are gonna protect your furniture from any damage. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the iFi Zendak. All right, so starting off on the left, we have the power match button. This is gonna allow you to control the power output so that, if, for example, you have IEMs that are sensitive, it's not gonna blow them out. Or if you're working with different headphones that require less or more power, you can use the power match to control that. The next button you have there is the true bass. Now, if you need to add additional bass to your music from your headphones, now this feature is gonna give you some nice analog bass. It's gonna extend the bass on your headphones or IEMs because you guys already know some of the headphones and IEMs out there just need a little bit of boost in the bass region. In the middle here, we have the volume knob, which looks very nice. And if we turn it, it feels very nice in the hand. So that's what you use to control the volume. Now, depending on whether you have it fixed or variable setting on the back, it's gonna control the volume on your external amplifier, but I'll talk more about that later. Next, we have the unbalanced connection. It's a 6.3 millimeter connection. Finally, on the right, you have the balanced 4.4 millimeter connection. This can provide you that nice balanced sound and give you that extra power. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the back of the iFi Zendak V2 to look at the connections that are available. In the back is actually a balanced output to connect your external amplifier if you wanted to. All right, so next you have the variable and fixed setting switch. You're gonna use this to control the outputs in the back. Whether you're using the balance or unbalanced, this is gonna allow you to either use the volume control on the Zendak or bypass it and use the volume control on your amp instead. Right in the middle, we have the right and left RCA connections. Again, this is to output to an external amplifier or external speakers. And next to that is a USB 3.0 connector. This is gonna provide you your audio data connection as well as power. This unit does not come with the power adapter that you would hook up to the connection all the way on the right there. So if you do want additional performance of this unit, you could buy a separate external power adapter to connect it to the Zendak, but otherwise you're just fine with the USB 3 connection, which is USB 2.0 compatible when connecting to your PC. All right, so you may be asking yourself, what is the difference between the version two and the version one of the iFi Zendak? Well, the version two, they installed a better digital engine chip, which is a 16 core chip. This allows it to fully decode MQA audio. So whereas the previous version of Zendak only rendered the MQA, this does the full decoding of the MQA audio. And to be honest, you can't go wrong with purchasing this device. This is one of the best sub $200 high-res DAC amps out there that you can get right now. All right, if you guys are interested in picking up an iFi Zendak for yourself, I will leave an affiliate link down in the description below. But one more thing I want to talk about, if we turn the iFi Zendak over to the back, we do have this balance connector here at the very left. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this balance connection to connect the iFi Zendak to my external amplifier, which is the AAA 789 amplifier. And if you take a look here at the left side, we're gonna take a look at the iFi Cable Series 4.4 millimeter to XLR cable. And this is a cable that iFi provided to me so that I can try the Zendak with my external amplifier, the AAA 789. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the iFi cable here for you because I do recommend that you pick up one of these cables if you are gonna pick up the Zendak. That way you can hook it up to your external amplifier and as we take a look here, here is a cable, quite a beautiful cable, kind of silver looking. 